Hello, this is another tutorial and this will be a short one. I'm going to show you um, the pen tool, but in this case we are going to use, instead of creating a path and convert it to a mask, we will use the pen tool and create a shape. A shape which is much easier to edit after you close the shape and create it. And so let's go to a new layer on top of the base body. This is the base fuselage body. Create it. And I will also, first I'm not going to clip it, I want to see the, the pen. So let's first, in the options toolbar, you can select and handle the path, select a shape. So, and make sure you I drop the color that you want. It's always possible to do it later, but let's do it. So click the pen and start uh, shaping it. Again, if I want to move the anchor point, I will use the space bar while moving, pressing the left mouse button. And this is one, and this is another one. As you can see, I didn't succeed in the first run. So let's continue, and I'll close the shape and press the Enter button. And so, instead of going to the Paths layer menu and select it and edit, you just go in the same while in the same layer pick the Direct Edit tool and click on the shape. So now that we can we can move the anchor points and uh, design the curves as how we like it and uh, let's see, now to see it better I'm going to clip the layer now and also go into the blending mode and select multiply which is the best for showing what's beneath in the layer. So, still not happy with it. I'm going to play with the handles and drag this one, maybe too much. As you can see, this part is almost going as a tangent to the bottom line of the, the fuselage. And let's drag this one a bit to until the top um, trap trapezoid. I don't know some kind of an antenna. And uh, as you can see, they didn't paint it, but I don't really care. I can always remove it in the masking uh, process, so yeah, that looks nice. Okay, so press the enter. Also save the file, and let's create another uh, layer, and now we're going to try and go for the black um, stripe. So again, pressing the pen tool, we're making sure it's in shape. Okay, so first let's double click and change the color. I don't know why I didn't pick the, the other color. So, what you're going to do is direct edit and press. Now, to make this anchor point a curve line, we'll hold the control and alt, and you can see this little uh, angular shape. Drag. As you can see, we can drag it and convert it into a curved anchor point. And we also want to drag this one. 
And now we can drag this one much to the back. As you can see, I didn't even close the shape, so I'm going to press the control and close it. Again, going back to the direct axis and move this one until we think it's done. Maybe I dragged it too much. Again, this one should be very thin. Obviously, this is not going to be a perfect one. But you get the idea. This one is going to be to the back. More or less, maybe move this one here and yeah, again, change into multiply, save. I'm not going to waste your time doing it, but. Uh, this is it. Now, uh, we are going to go for another tip, which has nothing to do with the pen tool, but with the masking when using, uh, for example, if we want to create three um, consecutive or continuous stripes with into various colors, so uh, let's create something. It doesn't have to be the pen tool, I'm not just going to do it. For the sake of it. Okay, this is one. I'm going to go for a different one. This will be a different color. Let's go for red. No, let's go for like blue. And another one that will be like this. And I'm going to give this one a different, maybe yellow color. Yeah, and let's select all and change to blending mode. Multiply. What our issue is, um, what if we want to, uh, since we, we are using blending mode that is not the normal one, each color will hide or mix with the one below or above. So first let's rasterize all these layers just for the sake of the process. So what I want to do is delete the yellow stripe below the, the blue line. So how can I do it? Can I reconstruct the shape of the blue one? No, I cannot. So we're going to the yellow one, which is this one, and I'm going to uh, go below and click inside with the, holding the click button, the control, sorry, the control button and clicking inside this the blue layer. I'm going into the yellow layer and either using the erase tool or clicking the masking tool and inverting it or using the, I don't remember the shortcut to create an um, the inverted action. I'm going to the red one and I want to hide the red below the yellow. So I'm going to hold it and click inside, control click inside the yellow one and erase the red 
layer. So this is how you can click quickly, uh, create a mixture of uh, lines. Another trick, which will be applied on top of the fuselage itself, is when you see many retro um, retro uh, libraries use um, parallel lines. So let's go into the blue, and let's go into a classical shape, and all backspace, but let's go back, dragging uh, the layer to the correct place, the layer measure. So, and um, I want to first just add a curved front line so that uh, Let's okay, so I will rasterize the slayer and merge it down so that I have the same layer here. Now I'm going to clip it below and move it into the blending. Uh, multiply mode. What I want to do now is actually copy this line twice and change the color. So I'm going to Control J to duplicate and move this line more or less like this. It doesn't have to be exact now. And I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to Control click inside it to uh, load the mask and on backspace. Control D to unload the mask and now I want to uh, have a um, the red line right below the, the blue one. So how do I match it? It's not exact and it can never match a good match using the move and the, so the reason is the, the shortest shortest and easiest way to do this is go into the control the blue one control control click inside and now we have the mask selected selecting the blue one go back to the red and erase so if you erase the red line will not go above the blue one and again, let's create another copy, move it, and this one we're going to give it a yellow, since we're already yellow. Let's just sample this one for the sake of it. And and backspace. So uh, what I want to do is go to the red one, click inside, go back to the yellow, and erase everything that's in it. So you don't have overlapping layers. Now the reason which we see the engine is because the engine body was uh, hidden. In this uh, template I didn't erase the, the previous livery, but you can get it. Anyway, you can always click inside the engine layer and go back to the yellow stripe and erase the same trick. And now let's clip the layer and we have a three lines library. So this is it for this very short tutorial. I hope you liked it. Please pardon my English since I'm not um, English speaking from birth. Goodbye.